up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind. You wouldn't understand. trade for future purchases. You come see me. I'm Brian. You gotta call him on the phone or nothing. Say that, pretty lady. What can I hook you up with tonight? My staff maintains at all times a 24 karat smuggler's board of A plus narcotics guaranteed to make the competition shit seem like a weak cappuccino in comparison. White, green, blues, reds, black, you pick a color. Explosives? Fun stuff. You can get yourself a lot of attention that way. I may have something. Why would you need to get your hands on some fireworks? Sure, okay. I got some stuff that'll do the trick. Astrolite. It's like TNT's big Amina cousin with a prison record. I don't like keeping the stuff around too dangerous. So I'll let you have it for a little less than the going rate. be open to negotiations. Question is, how open are you? Yo, go check the odometer on my car. Now, I'll give you what you want, but I got what you need.
It's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. You mean you ain't here to run us off? Pretty sick of it. Someone's sighting domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts, the mistakes. You types call us thin butts. I say we're all equally screwed. Clan. I've heard all that before, and, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the, the hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed. I'd just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago. It's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself. The way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left never really knowing what I was. I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. Clinically, yes, but honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. They're more in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, they've been through a lot. It's affected them. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules and the terms and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Oh, we'd appreciate it. Oh, before I forget, name's E. The black-haired beauty over there is Rosa. Sees the future, so she says. That nervous bloke is Copper. One who can't speak so well is Julius. Kids class with them. They made it rough. Seems no one will talk about it. This all started that night in the diner. Maybe you could start there.
If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? I want to be human again. Disregard what I say. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Then ask again. Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. The crimson sheep. He's not who he says she is and is going to burn. Dinosaurs. He's furious. The man with the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Men. Everywhere. Some with swords. Some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. Don't open it. I see the future, not the past. Whether or not you win the game matters not. It's if you bought it.
crime scene. Didn't I tell you to get away from there? What'll it be, honey? Is that a trick question? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? Hmm. I know I've heard that before. Oh, that girl. Nice girl. First decent human being I've seen in here for years. Not like all the junkies and crazies I normally see. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, weird. She left a tip, but she didn't order a thing. Yeah, she looked so hungry, too. Just sat there all night with a full glass of water in front of her, talking about this and that. She seemed lonely, a little scared, so I let her stay in the booth until we closed. She left some stuff here. You seem to know her. Why don't you give it back to her if you run into her? What'll it be, honey? Be the health inspector. You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. Something I can help you with. I guess. Falls into the flame. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Goodbye then.
Hello, L.A. You are way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to... Welcome to Kilpatrick 24-Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Well, looks like the boards are... Huh? Oh, I, I see what you're yapping about. Yeah, I guess you could call it that. Keymaster, huh? Maybe worth trying. Arthur Kilpatrick, the Santa Monica Keymaster. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bad horror movie. Vigo? So, Vigo, why are you up so late? I gotta have a few other bondsmen to keep the place open 24 hours. Plus a bounty hunter. I pull the graveyard shift because that's when all the crazy shit happens in Santa Monica. <laughs> I used to do a little yada You mean Santa Monica? Yeah. You sure got a strange way of saying things. This old burg has gone downhill in the past few years, if you ask me. Lots of shady types moving in, which ain't bad for business, you know what I mean? Hell yeah, I ain't complaining. I'm in a good position to watch it all just slide right down the tubes, you know what I mean? <laughs> Is tonight a rerun? Caller number three, what's going You talking about bail jumpers? Yeah. As a matter of fact, we got plenty of those. That's why I got a bounty on the floor. Hello, Gomez. What's you betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting back in the day. Takes a good solid set of brass balls. Uh, pardon the expression, Missy, but it takes balls to be a good bounty hunter. You've got our undivided attention. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. That'll let you in. Sure, honey. What is it? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore him up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Friggin' Chicken recently challenged some of the sure, honey, what is it? Test between Friggin' Chicken and the other leading chicken flavored products. Let's listen to which one. Friggin, friggin' Chicken. Friggin' Chicken, you'll swear it's the best you've ever had. You love the talking baby movie and the talking pig and even the talking car in that show. You know the one I'm talking about. But now prepare for the most hilarious talkingest normally mute object yet. He's Steve Cash, a New York banker and recent whittler down on his luck. And ten makes one hundred. Here's your money, ma'am. Ma'am, I happen to have a glandular problem. That's it. I'm withdrawing all my millions from this bank. Cash! She's an ATM machine with the soul of his dead wife. There's something familiar about this ATM machine. I love you. Wow, those marketing guys are geniuses. Together, they're learning to make the most of their special situation. So that girl from accounting used me today. Really? She wasn't like everybody else. When she pushed my buttons, she was very gentle. Oh, honey, if you don't stop, I'm going to have to make a deposit. Transferring cash. Wednesdays at 8.30 in the BM.
How's it going, girl? Oh, man, wait. Say that again. Oh, man, you. You're a vampire, aren't you? Hey, I work for a vampire. I don't know how much I should tell you, but... Oh, man, damn. It would be awesome to talk to someone else on the inside. some of their vampire blood. The human gains a little vampire power. Can heal up quick and that kind of stuff. Jeez, oh man. And they're a ghoul. Ooh, watch out. Oh man, I really wish I could tell you, but I don't think I'm supposed to. But it's really cool to be talking to you just, well, because I don't get a lot of chance to talk to vampires. Oh man, <laughs> other than my master. So I thought I'd just say, you know, what's up? <laughs> you know? It's awesome! Man, after that first date of vampire blood, it's like the best drug. I mean, I'm telling you, it's like, well, it didn't mess me up. It just made me feel like I was better at everything. I felt like a god just sucking on that nasty dude's wrist. Look, I probably shouldn't tell you this, but I want a secret mission for my master. Well, hey, <laughs> it's been great talking to you, man. But I better be going. Oh, man, you know, important stuff to do. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. Alright, go on back. Uh, uh, please, get a doctor. Ah, uh, my insides, it hurts so bad. <laughs> Can someone call my grandma, please? No, no, you 
you did something. I can feel it. It's fixing me. You... I, I kissed your wrist. What did you do? You... I feel like I know you. Like you've always been here. Time is it? I'm sorry, miss, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? You're trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out. Wait now. What do you want? Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Never speak to me about that again. How are his vitals? Next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Go. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? They all come in here with that same nonchalant look. With that who, me, stare? As if they were so clever. Do you think you're the first vampire to try and come in here to buy blood? Honestly. Fine. If you don't want any, deny it. Deny that you wouldn't put the lukewarm bag to your lips and slurp out the copper-smelling sauce like a swarm of mosquitoes on a hemophiliac's back. If you have to ask... Employees only. Them's the rules of the queen bitch herself. Now serving number 75? 
Number until I heard his heart stop and I was sucking on a dry, dead artery. It was euphoric. But I've... I've killed him. I've never killed anyone before. What happened? What came over me? just happened. It's not who I am. I've never done anything like that before. I'm not a monster. No, no, I'm not a monster. It was instinct. I couldn't control it. I'm not responsible for my actions. Flower? My name's Lily, if that's what you mean. E? You know E? I... How do you know E? I tried to tell E about his condition, but he was so furious at me for what I'd made him into, he wouldn't listen. A thin blood, from what I've been told, is a vampire whose blood is weaker than most. Rolf, my sire, told me some vampires consider thin bloods a bad omen and want them destroyed. Rolf wasn't a thin blood, and apparently I am. I don't know why. Rolf abandoned me. His group wouldn't take me in. They said I was a liability. He left me with so many questions, and I did the same thing to E, but I didn't want to leave E. He forced me out of his life. I, I should go. I have to get out of here. Maybe out of the city. Soon. E doesn't hate me anymore? I'll go see him. Thank you. Oh, 
know about tonight, what I did. Please, don't tell E. It's not my fault. I couldn't control it. I've never done anything like this before. I'm no killer. Why'd you have to go and let that bitch out? There's one less fill in the world now. Why'd you have to let her go and eat him, huh? No, I'll never get to do it, that bastard myself. Well, you know what? No blood for you. No more! those sons of bitches. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... uh... There's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. <laughs> If there are, I don't know them. But about this tongue. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. Mike takes the tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. Who exactly? Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Call me old-fashioned, but uh, I just can't talk about that kind of thing in front of a woman. All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says, you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate L.A., but what are you gonna do? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. 
Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Who, exactly? I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Specifically? Guns? Guy named Trip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call. He'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. Uh, hey, hey, uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... No, oh, damn it, who told you that? Fleet-footed? What the hell are you spewing about, dude? Mercury? You mean Mercurio? Huh? What are you smoking? More importantly, where can I get some? Look, I can't have people talking about this, you know? I'm not exactly properly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right, come take a look then. <laughs> 